Right, now what I've done is I've got the drive shaft in. That's in place. Next to go on is the swing arm. Uh, the little pin gone in to there. Where you can see the little hole. The little pin sits underneath there. Locks the drive shaft into place. So that won't budge. Um, so yeah, swing arms to go on now. And um, be back in a minute. Right, um, I had a bit of good news, um, or oh, good luck actually, um, got back from the powder coating today, uh, swing arm, now swing arm, I've had it powder coated in a bit of a brighter red to the frame, um, looks a little bit better, a little bit different, got the fra uh, swing arm onto the frame, Bolt going through, tightened up. Next uh, drive shaft has been placed in, and next part to do, um, I see. Um, put rear shockers on. Uh, I'll get that sorted out and be back in a minute one rear shocker on. Got to get the nuts and the washers for up here, down here. The same with the other one. Getting them brand new from Kawasaki. Um, same as the four nuts for the final drive. They're going to be brand new. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the final drive back connect that up to the end there with the gasket put the other shocker on and just use an old nut for now just to hold it in place and just to make sure as well that when the engine turns everything turns including the back wheel uh, so I'll come back to that in a minute first thing got to use this which is gasket goes on there and then join the final drive and as you can see, that's the way I've got it for now. It's starting to look a lot better. It's starting to come along now. Um, just got to remove these two bolts here. When the chrome plate comes with the swing arm, get that mounted. Um, after me heat the closing, um, Port. I'll have to get that mounted up properly using red zip ties. And that's about it. Okay, so what I've done is that's putting the rear swing arm on and the rear shocks on. And I've also put the back wheel on as well. So it's looking a lot better. It's looking a lot more like a bike now. Put the back brake caliper on. Um, I've got it up on um, some axle stands. So I get the rear spindle and that goes in and um, once the rear spindle is in and bolted up take the caliper off obviously for meantime so the plate's in uh, the rear shocks are going to be bolted up and that's all coming along fine now rear hubs on rear shock Chrome plates run down the side, that's all done. Uh, so, yeah, haven't got far to go with it now, uh, thank god. So, yeah, it's just starting to look like a bike, and um, getting there with it. For my next job, uh, rear spindle will be going in, back wheel be bolted up. Rear shocks will have the bottom nuts on, uh, come off its axle stands, go on its side stand, and then um, top yoke on, bolted on, handlebar rises, handlebars. Front spot lamp bar, 
then fenders, front and rear, tank, and go well. Carry on from there, side covers, seat. Hopefully, should be enough done then. Back in a bit.